Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, uh, well, I'm running late for my flight, so we're going to make this quick. How about that? We got 18 mods total for all platforms, nine new and four updates. PC Mac players got one new and four updates as well. In the video, we'll show you all the new mods plus their customization. Placeables will be a little bit different than you're used to, but we'll still go over those and we'll review all the mods that got an update. Now, Time to go catch my flight. All right, starting off today, we got some new ones for all platforms, but PC players can listen up as well because you're basically going to see the same thing here as your one new one for PC and Mac players. So we're just going to skip right over that one. This is the Lizard Meteor or the Volkswagen Meteor, depending on what platform you are on. 460 horsepower, manual transmission, 400 liters of fuel, 74 miles an hour. And the design on this looks great from Agritono creators of the F-350 beacon light and climate control we got air conditioner one and two and three and four and we got a beacon light on the top as well like that let's stick with it engine options 460 520 and those are your two wheel options we do have a black front black back then all black or standard and then we have the same thing through standard two side covers we have a side cover yes or no branding logo no logo or not right here on the very front so you could debrand this if you don't want a lizard logo that's pretty cool they didn't have to do that deflector on the side yes and uh we got a couple different ones as well that's pretty cool glass colors of course different glass colors mirrors we have a couple different options through there sunshades and latches of course all the same stuff through here you would expect to see we even have a few other things as well like fender options for example we have antennas on the front not my thing but you know what hey you may like them go for it baby and we've got some lights as well I always like it says lighthouse stickers we got some stickers on here you can throw that meteor logo on there uh color co oh okay I forgot I have another mod installed right now um you could get what's well, this stainless steel do we have chrome yeah I I just want all chrome all chrome everything it's kind of like the old gold everything from Trinidad James back in the day but uh yeah just do uh there you go. <laughs> I love it Next, we have the Salford 4204. This is a new plow for all platforms, 85 horsepower required, 2 meters at 7 miles per hour. No customization options. From HR Forced, we have their Ponzi Forwarder trailer, but trailers is more like it because we've got a regular forwarder trailer. Do we have a clam bunk trailer as well? I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. Um, it says it either requires or has 280 horsepower, 85 rather. Same thing here as well. The clam bunk, we have different wheel options. Everything you would expect to see. Uh, we can even change those up as well. Looking very good. Front gate, yes or no. Because this is a clam bunk, I would say maybe don't go with it. But because there's a crane, maybe you don't want to hit it. Main color options here are all of those. Let's go with, ow, that hurts my eyes blue. So main color is actually going to be the tip top of your sides and the bucket, the clam bunk itself. You can change that. That's red. Let's go with a nice bright yellow for the tracks. And of course, rim colors are rim colors at the end of the day. As I mentioned, placeables are going to be a little bit different as well in this video. So we'll go over these pretty quick for you. First is the uh, Reebok Farm Buildings. We've got some nice ones through here. We'll check out our screenshots. Boom, ba-boom. Oh, those are all blue. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, whoever took these screenshots did a really good job. These look awesome. Are these cows laying down? Oh, come on, man. Next up, we got the machine haul. This is, uh, well, a $100,000 machine haul here. You can see it is pretty, pretty massive and even looks pretty good too kind of reminds me of pgr slow a little bit here's the neat one the mounted lights pack ooh, ooh ooh pack of mountable lights for walls and ceilings you can light up your farm shed driveways or fields just by using existing buildings as mounting points take a look at a couple of the screenshots uh you can see we've got five different versions right here at least that i could see these are going to be perfect come on there we go next is the silo multi-fruit and shed i mean it's well, it's a silo shed multi-fruit. There you go. Next is the Spanish shed pack. It looks like we've got a couple different sheds through here. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Lancy Boy buildings a little bit. And your last new one for all platforms today is shed pack. So original. Uh, again, we got three different types of sheds. These remind me a little bit of Omatana sheds a little bit. All right, jumping over to the mod updates for all platforms. First is Cal Barn version 1005. Added PS4 and Extreme version. Updated the roads, fix some bugs, fix some more stations for sale. Some trees have been deleted, repainted all the roads, and gave all the sites and dispatch situations. Situations, st statations, st stations, stations. Is that the word really? Stations? 
Let's pretend that didn't happen. A slightly more realistic ground cover, change the cows removed, multiple materials of the same note, and add in many others. A new save game is required, and I think my brain needs a new save after that one. Oof. Secondly, the Limcud Solitaire DT version 101 fix mess issues and adjusted sounds. Thirdly, the Limcud Tapas 140 version number two. Add a rear hitch, minor corrections. And your only other update for all platforms today is wood storage. This is version 1.5. Added shadows for all objects because they were missing. Missing, added some markers for the trigger and triggers have been repositioned and as I mentioned previously PC and Mac players through here we basically got the same thing but it's a Volkswagen Meteor instead of a regular and you can remove that Volkswagen logo if you don't want to lastly let's make our way over to some mod updates first is the Pillment P031 Termit 303 version 1.1 revised the mod model and revised decals and added decal configuration next we have the color configurator version 1.3 added option to save colors in the configurator added colors from brand colors .xml to the color list and other minor changes thirdly an update to production revamp this is version 1411 however we're only showing 141 either way uh, fill level objects can now use multiple fill types or fill type categories as a sum a possibility to use any number of opening hours and your last mod today time saving stock check version 1004 added value at all sell point button and added bale and pallet storage building from patch 1.9 well guys that's it for this one hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel and i'm gonna keep those daily videos going i got pre-recorded videos for you friday saturday sunday we're gonna be going live on friday with clutch simulations for the first time i'm so excited i'm super pumped and i cannot wait to do that but um if i don't go now i think delta might cancel my flight so hope you have a great day we'll see you guys later peace